In our last video, we learned that the coachman started developing a coolant leak. The water pump is worn out. Uh, and the, the coachman has a Chevrolet big block 454 cubic inch engine. And with the, it just turned over 60,000 miles on it, but the, the water pump is shot. So uh, we limped it down here, going from Northern Arizona to Southern Arizona where it's warmer. And we did manage to nurse it along, uh, topped it off with water, uh, went a little ways further uh, to our next stop and topped it off with water again and just kept, and, and we made it down here. So it's time to get into it and uh, get this job done or started anyhow. Well, there it is. Man, I might as well get started here somewhere. I got to tell you right now that there are some things that are going to come off of this that I am not going to put back on. Uh, some of it is the old antiquated, uh, obsolete uh, pollution control stuff, and one reason one reason this is coming off is these have these air pump things, and it's a wonder they even still work. Uh, by now, a lot of these uh, that are still on the road, these have been bypassed because these pumps will freeze up, and then and then your belt won't turn and and you can't buy replacement ones these are no longer available so you know if you have one of these uh, and uh one of your air pumps goes bad and, and locks up uh you better hope it happens in your own driveway or your or uh, right right out of shop uh because once the belt stop turning then uh, uh bad things happen your alternator quits working your water pump quits working your other things quit turning because uh the, it rips the belt off and there's a second uh secondary uh air pump down below the alternator here so there's them two air pumps there's all these hoses there's this um type of control valve here that's i'm guessing thermatically controlled i already unplugged it uh probably once the engine gets warmed up it opens or uh, adjusts that valves it these hoses here run uh, down to this little manifold which in turn does this thing and goes down to the exhaust manifolds and then there's one on the other side it goes over here and well actually this hose goes way up underneath here up to some charcoal canister um i don't know where it goes i, I reach it goes way up in there somewhere and then the hose to this other side it has another one of these too another one of these uh, manifolds that converts into this thing that adapts to these other lines that goes down the exhaust manifold so it draws uh or pumps spray i think it pumps air uh down into the exhaust and that hot exhaust space to carry it and burn it and carry it away but so yeah that comes from that air pump but then this one comes over here to the air cleaner and you know, I just didn't know how that's <laughs> um, And again, here's another plug. It'll, where is it? Here it is. Uh, another plug that I'll just unplug and uh, I'll just leave it hang. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised between the time that one's unplugged. Uh, this other one's, uh, it's not plugged. It's, it's this valve that's plugged. And then there's this other thing here that goes to the air cleaner and I don't know what it senses, probably uh, also temperature. And then this thing, I don't know what controls it, but there's a vacuum line going in, vacuum line going out. Uh, I think it's safest to run that um, directly into the uh, carburetor, the base plate, and just eliminate that thing. Um, there's just things going on here that it's just not going to get back. Um, yeah, this has to come out of the way because one thing I have to take it loose uh, so I have better access. The water pump is down below here in the fan and everything. And of course, I'll address that fan and fan clutch. Uh, I'll address that issue here too uh, while I have this apart. Uh, but it'd be different if I didn't have to disturb this. I might leave it all be because this does currently work. And the other one... No, uh, it's just, I have to take it off anyway to get access to this stuff. So because they're known to, because they're no longer available and they're known to fail and just freeze up, this is just gonna come off. I'm gonna be proactive about that. I'd hate for it to uh, lock up, you know, being out in the road somewhere and 
and there it throws all my belts off and now I'm, I'm stuck and stranded anyway so uh, there's that inconvenience and uh, yeah no longer available anyway so uh, some of this old uh, 1980s uh, pollution control you know newer vehicles don't have all this like this they they figured out how to make them burn more uh, more efficiently and uh, all this stuff is it needed and yeah it only works so good uh, to begin with anyway it wasn't the uh, ideal system for sure but I might as well get started here and uh, start getting some of this stuff off and get access to down there and and uh, deal with these things Something I just noticed was about taking these hoses off. Well, this one here, I have it almost off, but there wasn't even a clamp on it. And I looked down the hose here, and here it's down. Here it's laying down here. There's one on that end. And this one was just, um, this has definitely been worked on before. Well, I know that for one thing because it has an aftermarket fan and spacer in there. Somebody had taken the original fan clutch out of it. But somebody must have just stuck these hoses uh it's must have been off here before just to do that work and somebody just stuck the hoses on and didn't even bother to put the clamps on it uh, same thing the uh the lower hose actually comes from down here the clamp is off of it too and i looked and it's way down at the other same thing it had slid the way down the other end nobody bothered putting the uh, hoses back on as opposed to clamps back on but um so that one's off and uh i took that little one a little one off it's uh, dangling down here somewhere i'll have to remember to plug any unused vacuum hoses and then uh this plugged in down in here it's already we're getting there we'll, we're gonna get this here all opened up i'm gonna go ahead and get this air cleaner off of here that is an air cleaner and air filter that's <laughs> a pretty sizable one and there's that big four barrel quadra jet uh, by the way, I did find an issue with that. Uh, somebody did some handy dandy work to that, thinking they knew better than the engineers did. So we'll we'll maybe get to that here in a minute. It, this is kind of funny. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a better look at that big bad carburetor. Uh, some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, whatever. They're uh, <laughs> they were like you know how many hoses were hooked to this air cleaner thing. There we had a little one hiding under here. Actually, it's a big fat one. A uh, big fat one going on the, that one there. Go on there. There's a one. Another one. There's a two. Uh, where did the vacuum line go? There was a, there's a small one went up under here. There's a there's a three. You know, on this side. Uh, there's that plug. I think that's just a ten temperature setting thing. And then where are we at here? There's a come on, come on. <laughs> where are we at? Three. There's a four. There's a five. Anything else hooked to this thing? Jeez. All right. Uh, ooh, look at that mess. <laughs> Nano man. Oh, what'd that, what'd that thing go to? Uh, we're not gonna worry about it. Uh, I think it went. <laughs> I'm gonna keep track of this. All this, huh? <laughs> Here, let me let me share this of, of all these vacuum hoses okay of all these vacuum hoses that go all these places uh yeah there's only two that are real, actually real critical one is the vacuum here it runs down this rail yeah uh, it's rigid and then it goes back to goes down by the transmission for the uh, shift modulator yeah so that one's necessary for the, the automatic transmission to shift properly uh the other one comes all the way back here there's a vacuum advance on a distributor so that needs to uh, uh be able to adjust as the uh, engine develops vacuum and stuff so those two are are critical then we just have a then we just have a whole host of uh uh just snakes snakes in here wow and the other one was this uh, P, uh, uh pvc uh, is that positive crankcase ventilation? PCV. Yeah. Uh, really, all we need is a hose to go. I don't know. It goes to this thing. It goes back up. It, it from the the PCV. It, then it goes to this one. It branches off. It goes that way. Um, where all it goes, but it really just needs to go from there uh, straight into the base plate of the carburetor. Uh, it just needs that uh, 
that stretch there doesn't need all these uh, side roads and side streets and alleys going 10 other places uh, it's, <laughs> it's, this is gonna look a little bit different whenever i'm done that's for sure well that's interesting i loosened up the one bolt and uh I haven't even touched the other bolt yet. I just loosened the one bolt. And, uh, yeah. Da -da -da -da. It's a one bolt holding it tight. Nice. So I'll take this other, I'll finish taking this other bolt out. And, uh, that pump should come right out of there. But, uh, obviously that one wasn't tight. I wonder what else we'll find. Oh, I did find something over here. Let's see. What is, what is this bracket over here all loose and hanging for? Interesting. Well, there's the beginning of our pile, the air pump. A couple hoses go with it. I am glad to be down here in uh, the Havasu area. This is just a better area. Um, there's familiarity uh, here uh, about having camped here before. Length of stay, just a general feel of the area, where the stores are at, what's available. Uh, I can feel, I can kind of take my time at, at uh, working at this rather than feeling rushed up in Kingman and maybe just camping in a new area not shoring of uh not sure of length of stay and rangers and locals or or you know just just more unknowns up there so uh here i can kind of just work through this and do it more proper and not work hastily and hurry up let's get it fixed so we can get back on the road and sort of thing we're we're okay here for a while so that makes a big difference on how uh i feel <laughs> during this process so it'll be all right and there it is there's our first big hole in the <laughs> our big access hole and we can finally get a look at the the fan there and the beyond i think there's that spacer down here that's a and the trouble is all these brackets that the uh, air conditioning uh, compressor uh, and the, that air pump and the alternator and the lower uh, the lower air pump and the lower uh, the power steering all that, all those brackets bolt onto the front of this engine and some of them right on the uh, water pump so a lot of these brackets uh, do have to come loose and uh, take them out of the way yeah so it is a lot of work uh, but uh, I'm happy to be working in here <laughs> rather than leaning outside leaning over a hood and out in the weather in here it's a little more comfortable uh, sitting and um, yeah so uh, all right let me get back to it here and get this done here's another interesting bit here is yeah you know, I took this first bolt out. I want to take this big bracket out of here too and what I found was uh, there's, and there's several bolts that uh, hold it on here and uh, down down in there and uh, over here and uh, I don't know if there's supposed to be another one down there it wouldn't surprise me but I think some bolts are missing because uh, or wasn't tightened one I know there's one down there where it goes into the water pump but look it's like I took this one bolt out this one bolt out of here just to get started I was looking for the next bolt to take out and, and the whole thing's already loose so uh, this bracket that goes down here <laughs> I, where is it where, where, where is it Okay, see that rod? That bracket's supposed to go down to, uh, uh, I think I'm down on the intake manifold. And uh, obviously it wasn't uh, tightened very well, or at all. And the uh, the bolt that's down there is completely missing. So somebody either bothered, didn't, uh, didn't bother to put it in, or they just didn't tighten it tight enough and it vibrated out. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, man, I don't like when, uh, uh, I shouldn't bad mouth other people's work should I you never know what the circumstances were maybe they didn't know what they was doing that might have been the circumstance <laughs> all right hang on here <laughs> something don't look right there that's that rod that comes down all right that's that rod that uh, came down from that bracket yeah here it is down here in the intake manifold uh something don't look uh, right look look what um that wasn't even tight and look it was a broken lock washer they come out in two pieces. Uh, you know, that's, uh, you know. Some people should just uh, keep their hands off engines. But you know what, I mean, I mean, it did run this long. You know, it wasn't quite right, but maybe they couldn't afford a mechanic. Maybe they, uh, they got this far 
certainly could have been better, but uh, it, it held together and you know, it's run all this way. <laughs> <laughs> made it across the country so i can't completely bad mouth uh somebody else's work they just missed a few details uh, fortunately nothing came loose and went flying in here when it, while it was running all right and there's one other bolt down there too that's um it's not tight either <laughs> and there's a spacer missing uh never mind that we won't go into every single detail here but uh, i'm gonna get this piece off of here and uh <laughs> Sorry, I uh, shouldn't laugh. That's how I keep myself amused and keep the job, uh, you know, moving and not getting in a bad mood and, you know, start throwing wrenches and swearing and that sort of thing. I, I find little ways to humor myself. So, it makes the job go a little easier. Now we're getting somewhere. I got that big bracket out of the way. Yeah, the parts pile grew a little bit more, and, but now we can really see something that's going on here, and that uh, water pump is definitely, definitely shot. All right, with that other bracket um, out of the way, now we can see more more of the fan, uh, the pulleys, in uh, the top part of the water pump. But here, uh, watch this here. Okay, let's just hang on, hang on. I mean, oops, I'm blocking the light at the same time. Let me put it like this. Okay, now watch how much play is in this. Okay, hang on. All right, that's uh, that's uh. The, the bearings in that water pumper are pretty shot. So uh, even if it didn't leak, uh, that thing needs replaced. <laughs> Here's my guess. I think this started leaking. Now, some of you that had followed the videos of us coming across the country, uh, think back when we were had made it to New Mexico. I think that last day, New Mexico to Arizona. Remember when I stopped and all of a sudden the power steering? stop working and, and, and then it would and then it wouldn't and uh, I think this first started leaking antifreeze at that time because you know how s slimy and slippy uh, antifreeze is I think it was spraying dripping and spraying around in there a little bit and got on that power steering belt and that belt was slipping so I think that's why because uh, it's, it's been kind of the same. It, it seems to work for the most part, but and there's times where it just it doesn't. And it's still, and I checked the fluid, and uh, it's up. It was, I mean, a tiny bit low. And I'm like, oh, I had that little bit. I knew it wasn't enough to, but I thought, well, while I'm there, I, I topped it off. And uh, it didn't make any difference. And uh, so and there was different times, too, where I could hear the belt squealing a little bit, and then it would quit. So that was... Uh, indicates that it would slip and then it wouldn't then it would slip and it wouldn't so i'm pretty sure that's when this first started leaking antifreeze all right now this is also weird here's another bracket that seems to go to nowhere uh there's a slot in it and nothing was in it and here's another bolt that wasn't tightened the whole way because look hang on look look what is going who what was going on with this thing? Wait, it's trapped behind these hoses. Let me get it. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. Okay. What the I mean who I mean who who worked on this thing? I don't want to mark it on anything I own. Wow, that's uh I don't know what to make of that. The only thing that was holding that up there, I guess, was because the other pump, when that air pump was in here, it was holding it up. Oh, well, uh, no, it was jammed behind this one um, air conditioner hose. That's what was holding it up. What the heck? <laughs> All right, I took that bolt out, so uh, this bracket's going to uh, come out. It just didn't go to anything anyway. It's like it was supposed to be a like a draw bolt for tightening a uh, like an air conditioner up, but it doesn't have that bracket on it. It's as if you... You, you snugged it up, uh, there was a bolt, long bolt going through that hole, you pulled something up, and then you tighten the uh, the other bolt down to, uh, that's the type of bracket that is, but uh, it just seems like it doesn't belong, so we're going to get this one out of here, and then there's this other one, we're going to um, get this one out of here too, this, and uh, <laughs> I just, all right, yeah, it's uh, beginning to look a little, uh, almost like normal engine here with a alternator on one side and an air conditioner compressor on the other. Got that, uh, finished getting some more of this pollution out of it. Oops, 
pollution stuff out of here and uh some of this stuff. Stuff. Oh, by the way, I have this rag over the top of the carburetor because uh, just to keep uh, maybe preventing if I accidentally drop anything, uh, any little bits or pieces, uh, don't want it falling down on the carburetor. That would be uh, that would be bad. We need to fish that out somehow. Can't can't be letting any of that happen. But I, I thought, you know what? I'm going to, since I got a lot of that out of the way up front, I'm going to go ahead and work from left to right and kind of take some of this out of here from over here. I've already unbolted this little uh, uh, gizmo thingy, thingy whopper. And uh, it's uh, it's uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna take this uh, let's, let's take it, just take this little monstrosity out of here. Uh, did take some unplugging that went in the uh, the carburetor base and uh, went over here and it wide off, it branched off over to that vacuum canister and then uh, over to a, a PVC valve, it's a positive uh, crankcase ventilation. Uh, went into that okay so that's really all it needs i think i mentioned that that's the only uh, somewhat critical piece that goes in but it had that branch and it has this branch over here that went to this thing and that branched and went up to the air cleaner and this little thing was vacuum controlled with this little vacuum hose it uh, went over here this vacuum hose here actually went in the i plugged it back in the carburetor it went into this and this branched off and went into the carburetor and and continued over well we're eliminating that we really just needed that it's almost as if that was just right for going in the carburetor to begin with but they wanted to branch off uh, and still make that happen but they want to be able to operate this thing which just ran stuff this way that way just to go up to the air cleaner and canister thingy anyway all i need to do is take that pvc valve out of the end of that hose and I think I can use this piece because that was only so long and it had a curve to go into the carburetor base. I think I can salvage this piece. There's that curve. That's what I'll do is I'll put that curve in that carburetor base uh, like that one was. And then uh, put the PVC valve on. Uh, I'll take that, that Y off of there. Put that PVC valve in there and I'll plop it down in that hole. Uh, hopefully it's long enough. All right, it's about time to start calling it a day. It is the sun has just gone down over the over the mountain out there. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty mild tonight. You know, down here we are in a nicer area, but still it's getting uh, the day kind of slid by on us. Uh, I, I knew this was going to be opening what they call a uh, can of worms. <laughs> this has been. Uh, me and Scotty talked about this a little bit this morning. Uh, Scotty's really great. He has a similar background. You know, we have similar enough backgrounds and stuff that on uh, some of this older stuff and some of the things that were done over the years. And we really talked about this. I, I mean, I mean, I knew what I was getting into. I did this to the Tioga uh, long before I even got out here on the road. Uh, maybe I did that on my second year back. But I mean, I have enough background and knowledge to uh be smog you know get rid of the smog pumps i know i called them air pumps but uh and they are but smog is dirty dirty air right so uh you know i did a similar thing to the tioga uh and i did the exhaust new exhaust mat or uh remachined the exhaust manifolds flat and new uh copper gaskets on uh that job uh but still uh you know being out here on the road uh i really like running things by scotty and we discuss uh you know, if I do this or should I do it now and get it over with and done with, it's uh, like I said, that air, those air pumps are known to, uh, or smog pumps are known to lock up after a while. And it's better while I'm in there to get it out of there so that that doesn't happen out on the road. Uh, what do we do here? Uh, yeah, so that did work out, that PVC valve. Uh, that line goes over there and down in the base of the uh, carburetor under there somewhere. Uh, it's almost like that's uh, it was meant to be that way, right? <laughs> yeah, it's getting dark and it's getting trickier with the light. Uh, that and some other things uh, got out of the way. We'll go out and see how big that uh, pile of parts is growing. Uh, certainly a couple of things will need uh, you know, plugged up. Uh, this will be a second part of the job at a later time. Uh, but for now, I can plug these. Uh, this, did I, I don't know if I said this one exhaust manifold. There's a little weld crack. Those are the stainless exhausts manifolds not the cast iron ones so i might be able to have that repaired i don't know yet i'll do that when i uh, get to it but the main yeah that can be plugged for now 
and uh, and uh, the, the other side as well. Uh, so uh, the, the main part of the smog stuff is off of here. Now I can get down to the real job. Uh, well, that other I have to look at that other air pump that's down below the alternator uh, down there. But all this stuff has to come loose too. Because a lot of these brackets, the air conditioning bracket and the alternator bracket goes down and it bolts on the front of the water pump down there. So this stuff, uh, it's not coming off. I can probably just loosen it up, move it up and over out of the way a little bit. You know, some, some tie or wire that over a little bit out of the way. Those just have to come loose to get the water pump off. And then when it goes back, oh, the new one goes on. Then I just uh, reattach that, that and that. Uh, so... Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We're going to call it a night and put the uh, engine cover, uh, just going to set it on there uh, for the evening. And because uh, cool air, <laughs> cool air is also starting to come uh, through there. The cool evening air is uh, getting upon us. So uh, we're going to button this up for the night. Oh, so that's what I was saying. The, uh, yes, yeah, so some of the first part of the day was really just getting some things put away and the table off and getting it opened up and then me and scott was talking kind of just discussed the uh the strategy and how i was gonna go about it and what i ought to do and not to do and uh we just talked it out talked to talk the job through a bit and uh and then i kind of got on with uh this part of it getting the what he calls a uh, de-smogged you know getting that all that smog stuff off of there and that's where i said so tomorrow morning uh actually i'll be better off uh I'm well into it is really actually to get to the water pump itself and uh, make a list of uh, the water pump uh, fan clutch antifreeze and coolant and uh, and so on I already have the uh, the hoses they came uh, when I bought the coachman uh, there were uh, new ones underneath the one bench seat and, uh, and here they are now I already eyed up the top one I know it's right and uh, uh, I think that's the longer one and then the other one for the bottom and uh, you know we have clamps and stuff and even extra uh <laughs> extra clamps uh, but i'll get my list together you know we'll go down and be getting some probably getting some stuff tomorrow yeah <laughs> yeah and our little parts pile has been growing you know, some brackets over there and uh you know that smog pump and you know, hoses and other brackets and more more hoses and uh and some more bits and pieces of hoses and you know, uh, that one control valve thingy that uh, kind of matches that one uh, one for each side yeah and so yeah, we're getting a, we're getting the power here of stuff that will not be going back on what are we broke down <laughs> no we didn't break down we actually it didn't break and leave us breaking downs when it breaks and you're kind of stranded uh we are down but uh we're taking it apart for some repairs and maintenance huh <laughs> yeah it's late in the day we're gonna get some dinner i'm gonna wash up and uh, get this closed up and get some dinner and uh call it a day so we'll get back at this uh get back at this tomorrow <laughs> It's been fun. <laughs> I'll see you next time.